I want to get back into the swing of things. Do you think it's weird? I'm drinking Coke and I'm eating a banana. It's kind of weird. I think so. Anyways, I don't think many people have seen this before. I haven't seen this as well. But take a look at this. It's from my friend Ahal. It is a student version of fountain pens. So it's fountain pens for the young youth. I, when I saw this, was like, I need to get this. I need to see what this is all about. It comes in this nice, attractive case. So, like, you, you know when you go to convenience stores? So this is, this is going to be my big assumption. In Japan, like, when you go to uh, convenience stores and you see, like, you know, the candy aisles and, like, the stationery towards the end of the aisles and stuff before you pay, they have these things. And the Japanese parents are like, okay, well, the kid needs a fountain pen. What a classy society. I really hope I'm right when I'm, th- when I'm talking about that. Anyways, though, so we're going to get into it. We're going to take a look at this back here. I'm going to do my usual thing. Let's just zoom in the back and talk, see what this has to say. It's something about a love story, I guess. Hey, how love story? It's going to be kind of straightforward, I guess, when we talk about it. You see, like right here, it's just showing you how to untwist the top, pull it out, put the cartridge in. Snap the cartridge in. So this is where it's from. Wes How A How Pen Trade Company. Um, from iHow.com. And I can get some more information at iHow at iHow.com. So I haven't actually taken a look at their website. This is the first time I'm actually looking at the back. But let's turn this around. Let's focus out of here. Let's see what we actually get in this packet, right? So, I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer here. Let's see if my camera's going to focus. I've never trusted the autofocus on cameras, but... Right here, we're treated to one, two, four cartridges. And then we have a little pen case. It's right here, the top. And in this love story thing, it looks like a pen, like the fountain pen case, right? That's what it looks like. Hey, I could be wrong. We will have to see. But that's about it. We've got this attractive blue-haired boy, this attractive white-haired girl. How about we open this stuff up? Let's see the quality of all this stuff. Let's rip this right there. Okay. So I want to take a look at this. This right here. So let me see if I let me just, let's zoom in. Let me just take a better look at what this exactly is, and we'll just keep it probably at this focal point right here. There, a how love story. So it's just the case. If I were to open it here, oh, looks like I was wrong. This looks like it's a highlighter, huh? So upon further inspection, then let's just see what I can get and read on here what this is about. Oh, so this is an erasable pen. This is an erasable pen right here. So it's showing you right here where the words are. You kind of start wiping. The words are supposed to be gone. If I can focus in on this, this is a little bit, this is a little bit too close. Yeah, you see that? It's an erasable pen. I was completely wrong about this. So this is actually neat. This is what makes this review a little bit more interesting now. Okay, so we've seen this. Let's actually take a little look at the build quality of this love story pen. Okay, so here's the pen it comes with. And you can see right over here, love story, rainbow. Um, please, in the comments, if you know what love story is, like, is it a brand name like Hello Kitty, or like the Sanrio stuff? If it is, mm, I'd actually like to know. But it's got this sort of greasy-ish feeling on it. Just a little bit. So let's just, let's see the how this nib looks here. So it's a very simple, straightforward nib, right? Look at that. There's no markings on it whatsoever. It's kind of super plain. Kind of really, really plain once we look at it. And then once we roll up around here, again, it just says love story, this happy boy and girl, and then the barcode. But, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in terms of the nib. It actually is. You know what? It's actually pretty fine. It's very pointy. So when we open this up here, you just got the little injector part right there. Let's take a look at this cap. 
Standard cap says love story. I feel love story may be like a brand name to like a show or something. Um, I know the people in the comments or the people that directly message me. Um, they always have something good to say. Information that I've always thought was very helpful. So, oh, you know what? It's that very thick plastic. You know the what is it like Fisher Price? Fisher Price type of plasticky, right? It's. It feels like it's squeezable. It just feels very thick, very durable. That's the word. When it comes to fountain pens, you know what? Durability is not something, the first thing I usually think of. But again, people that are using fountain pens like myself, we're not really in it for, we're not throwing it around and banging it around so it can be fragile because we know we're going to take care of it. Okay. Let's take a look at these right here. Okay. So I'm going to pull one of these out. All right. So these are the... These are the connections, the little cartridges that come into here. So let's zoom out a bit. Let's start focusing on here. So let's zoom out. So this is what we have here with the cartridge. We're going to put this in right here. Okay. So let's zoom all the way in. Let's zoom this in. Let's pull this part. Whoops. We're pulling this part out right there okay so we're gonna put this piece this piece into here well there we go we heard it we heard it pop we're just gonna finish screwing this in okay all right so how about we get our paper and let's actually see how well this thing writes all right first time with this type of pen let's see how well it's going to write for us, okay? It's actually not that bad. So, um, first initial thoughts of this. Wait, let me take a sip of my soda. Mm. So right now, my cursive writing right here is kind of pretty poor, um, just because I'm just sitting at a weird angle that I'm not usually doing um, before. But you know what? Writing with this, um, the ink actually flows out kind of evenly. It looks like it actually dries really, really fast. It is kind of faint. Um, it doesn't also scratch um, on the paper. Sometimes the some of the pens that I've looked at, they're, they ha they're kind of scratchy, so they're loud when they write. But that, is, I think, is usually determined on the type of pen that I'm actually holding and the one that I'm actually using. This one, this seems very safe. Um, let's see how fast it dries uh, relatively fast there's only a little bit of smudge on here but this is actually really cool um, I think it's really cool just because it's a beginner type of pen for like chill it's, it's for children right it's a little children's pen but more importantly what we want to do is actually remember this thing this is supposed to be the dry thing here so we're gonna actually try it out in a basic world test I'm not gonna stress test it first so let's say look. Oh. All right, so you see the, how that was written? Let's zoom in here more. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh-oh, I spelled the wrong. So according to this right here, I should be able to erase it. So what I'm just going to do is... Oh my gosh. Are we seeing this? Wow. 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 This, when I say this is a beginner thing, this is a beginner for little kids getting introdu introduced to using ink. But this, I wish I knew how science works to explain it. But you know what? As you can see, um, you can see faint outlines, but that's because of how heavy I put pressure on the pen. <laughs> but look at this. I am erasing everything I wrote. So for elementary kids, this... <clears throat> excuse me, is a godsend. This is actually really, really neat. So let's actually write something else again. One item. So we are going to write one more item. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. So that is actually really, really cool. 
So I wonder... I'm going to try and press as, like, as lightly as possible. So I'm just going to go... Oh, I can't. With this pen, you have to apply some pressure. So I just kind of want to... I don't want to make a full box, because I don't think it's going to... That's not how it's intended, really, but heck, I'm already doing it anyways. All this, we're just going to try that one more time. So you remember um, Crayola Invis Invisla Ink? Invisla Ink, it was something that I was had when I was younger, where you had markers you could write, and then you would write, and it would disappear. I feel it's the same type of technology. But now, as you can see, I don't know how well you can see it right here. You can see the faint lines of the pen ink that I wrote on it, right? But if I'm to write over it, nope, it's still disappearing, probably due to it still being wet. So we're going to actually try and use this first this time. So I'm going to, you see, right over here. I'm going to write there. And we're just going to draw a line. You see where it's disappearing? This allows kids to do everything in pen. It allows them to do math in pen. It allows them to write things in language arts or social studies in pen. This actually is really, really cool to have. So um, well, I think what we're going to do is, hey, let's actually see how it works on a regular, a different, um, a, just any other ink pen. So I got my regular Moon Man C1. Moon Man Fountain C1 pen. Okay, so this ink, I don't have high hopes for it just because it's a lot of, it's, a, it's very wet. Okay, let's actually try my Jin Hao one right here. Oh. Okay, we're going to let this stuff dry a little. All right, Moon Man, here you go. Ugh, no. Jin Hao, let's try you. No, and you see, now it's starting to smear this all together. So I think mainly because of the Moon Man pen and the Jin Hao pen, the way they release ink is a little too thick. It's a little too, it's coming out way too much, and perhaps there's different type of ink that's inside this one as to why it's not making it completely disappear. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologize for the burp. I'm probably not going to edit it out. You guys are going to have to deal. But with this I how this 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 I how pen, my goodness, it's really really neat how this can be done. Obviously, it's for kids. But you know what? Altogether, this was actually a really cool pen to take a look at. So, you guys, that is the I how pen, the I how love story pen, I how love story. Take a look at these. These look great. All right. Wait, I want to move this one up. I want to move this one up. I always like taking pictures of them. I just want to make sure they're completely in focus. All right, you guys. So that's the iHow pen. Um, I'm going to go out and do something else. Probably finish this banana. So you guys take care.